G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Got an interesting one for you today. I'm going to show you how to set up FAQs for SEO on blogs utilizing the chat GPT. Let's uh, jump into it because it's going to be a little bit interesting. I haven't tried this out myself, but wow, it could be powerful. So first thing you wanna do when you're looking at adding FAQs to a blog post, what you wanna do here, come over to Google, okay? That's the first step. Type in the seed keyword that you're going after and you want to install this plugin. So this is the people also ask Scraper or SEO Minion. It's fantastic. You're going to need it. You're going to need this. Now what I'm going to do and what this tool does is it essentially scrapes these. So as you can see, the people also ask, how do you stop a pipe from leaking? Okay. So let me just zoom in so you guys can definitely see this stuff because I don't want you to miss out on any of the juiciness of this video so as you can see here how do you stop a, a pipe from leaking now what you can do is you come over to the tool and we only want to go two levels deep we don't want to go too far for the purpose of this video so i'm scraping the people also ask five seconds quick thing it's going to spit out a csv file what we're going to do then is utilize that csv and all the questions in the people also ask you're going to add that to your blog post, but we're going to utilize the chat GPT tool to uh, see how we go. Let's uh, see if this can benefit your blog post. So what we're going to need to do is come over to here, import this bad boy. So you guys can see all of this information, upload. All right, so here we go. Yeah, man. So here are those questions. They're quite similar, obviously, to the seed keyword. As you start to go further down the levels, it starts to get a little bit crazy and all this other stuff. But what you want to do is you want to have a look at these. You want to be like, okay, well, how do they support my parent topic? Perhaps you've got a parent topic. Like, as an example, let's just say I created this blog post. How do you stop a pipe from leaking? And let's just say it's not moving anywhere in the SERPs. It's just, it's not even getting indexed. It's, it's quite bad. And it was meant to be a bit of a pillar post for me. Well, a great way of giving that, a, that blog post a boost for SEO is adding FAQs to the end of it. So you scrape the people also ask, now let's have a look, like how much does it cost to fix the leaking pipe? Yeah, I like that one. I like that. Let's add that just down there. Let's separate that. What causes a leaky pipe? Let's grab that one too. Why not? And is a leaking pipe an emergency? These are three great questions that could really support your article or your blog post for SEO. So let's grab it. Let's grab all three of these. Let's copy that. Come over to a Word doc so we can copy the results. And I'm just going to paste these in here. If my computer wants to uh, work with me, of course. Does not appear that it wants to work. Okay, guys. Here we go. We're off to a flyer. <laughs> what happens when you record stuff so how much does it cost to fix a leaking pipe you know what let's just do it this way let's grab this how much does it cost now the chat gpt right now it's completely free so depending upon when you watch this video you there'll be a link to this down below so just click on it you can go over you'll just have to sign up to it and then you can actually utilize this tool for free but it's yeah it's obviously taking the internet by storm right now so you just place your question down the bottom here. And then the tool will spit something out. So let me just zoom in a bit for you so you can see this. So as you can see, it's writing out the cost of fixing, depending upon the location, the extent of the damage, all of this, yada, yada, yada. This is a great little thing, a little thing to actually place at the end of your blog. A nice little extra, what, maybe, well, you'd say probably 250 words. That's a nice little boost. So that's a nice little <laughs> addition to the bottom of your blog post. Let's see if this will work. No, it will not. 
I have no idea why it will not paste for me, guys. There we go. Hey, finally. Must have been the Grammarly. So, let's get rid of that. Let's make this text color black. And the background. I have no idea why that's gone there. But you get the point. I have no idea how to remove that background. I don't think it's a highlighter. None. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's see if I can push all this down further. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to have to <laughs> excuse the editing, guys. But here it is. Here's the content. So that's for that one question. So you could even add this question literally right here if you wanted to in your Excel. There it is for that question. Same thing. What causes a leaking pipe? Let's throw that into the chat GPT. Hit enter. So all you need to do, and it'll start to research. Corrosion. This is just brilliant, brilliant. Now, will it impact and hurt you later on? Quite possibly. Because this is AI. There's talks now of watermarks coming out, all of this type of stuff to be implemented by OpenAI to stop there being us guys, us SEO guys going out there and spamming it. But essentially, this is something that you can utilize to really, really boost up your FAQs. It's going to help you, uh, like what, that's two of them I've done right there. How easy was that? Just at the click of a button, two additional things, an additional, what, probably 500 words by the end of this, all of this, you just then copy this and paste this into the bottom of your blog. That, that is how you can utilize FAQs for SEO, for blogs, for utilizing the open AI chat GPT. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it. If you have, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you around. Cheers.